this is a fat old lady in PJs. I'm going to show you my new gun I just bought. Beautiful. This is a Taurus Model 85 38 snub nose revolver. And yes, folks, it is unloaded. I checked. Want to see? There. Nothing in the chambers. This is a five shot ultralight. Conceal carries very well. I like this a lot. This it has been my dream gun. It's a 38, what I would call a detective gun. When I learned how to shoot, it was at a police firing range. The gun that we used back in the day was a Smith & Wesson 38 Police Special. It was a full 38 revolver. These smaller guns were the detective's guns. They used to put these in their shoulder holsters under suits. Of course, the plainclothes detectives wore suits back in the day. Around, uh, I think it was around 1984, 1985, cops started going to 9mm, and I've been reading that some went to the 40 caliber semi-autos. My instructor didn't seem to know why. I found out later on, I watched a, an episode of the FBI Files. Back in 1986, uh, there was a sh big shootout with the FBI down in Miami, Florida. This was the deadliest massacre in FBI history. What happened was they were on the trail of um, armored car robbers that were, they were um, robbing armored cars at gunpoint, uh, killing the drivers. They finally, you know, tracked them down, and then there was a big shootout. The robbers were like military. They had semi-auto weapons. And most of the cops ended up with uh, 38 revolvers. I think some had 9 millimeter. There was a bunch of agents killed. And after that, this pretty much uh, was a death knell for the revolver. Cops started going to semi-autos back then. Of course, most of them, I think, used the 9 millimeters now. But if you ever wonder why they switched from the 38s, that's why. It's kind of a little history lesson. I like this. Uh, the grips are, are great. It's got like a Taurus bowl on it. Uh, stainless steel here. It's just, uh, it, it's a beautiful gun. Don't hesitate to buy it. What I like about this one is um, it's great for a woman. It's, if, if you're afraid of semi-autos, like I've been kind of afraid of semi-autos because I've had some bad experiences. Of course, the old Jennings 22. It's it, it, just a really bad reputation on that one, but that would jam up on me all the time. So I was, you know, a little shy about uh, semi-auto, so I went with the revolver instead. Revolvers are nice because you point and shoot, click, it goes off. This You, you want to get yourself one. You don't want to get a semi, uh, a single action. You want to get it like a single double or a du double only because uh, of the trigger. The trigger pull is really heavy. When you when you go to pull it, so you can have it fully loaded. If you want, really want to be safe, you can have one of the chambers empty. Although that would only give you four bullets, I would recommend keeping it fully loaded. And then you can, you know, because if you have it in the double action mode, it really takes a lot to pull the trigger. So it's not like very likely that you will have a negligent discharge on it. I have seen like a little plastic piece that goes in here, kind of a round plastic piece, a guard uh, available on Amazon for these. You can just um, put Taurus Model 85 uh, in the uh, su subject box at Amazon and you can pick them up there. Just want to let you know what I picked up. I'll tell you I feel a lot safer for having this. It's been 30 years probably since I've owned a gun or felt a need for it. With the, the changing times that we've got now, I just, I don't feel safe anymore. But this has made me feel a heck of a lot better. And I can uh, do my own self-defense. Not only that, but I really like this gun. If you're, gonna, if you're a woman and you're going to go pick it out, pick something that feels good in your hand something that you like to fire, and something that you feel confident about. This is a fat old lady in PJs out.